Hello friends, it's me Chinwin Coder. Today I am going to talk about Java FX shape. As you can see, these are normal Java FX buttons with custom shapes. So in this tutorial, we will see how to create buttons with these custom shapes. One point though, uh, what I'm going to show you is not specific to button. You can give shape, any shape you want, to almost every component available in JavaFX. To be exact, you can apply shape for any component that extends this class region. So if you ask me what are the components that uh, extends this region, you can see here there is button bar, choice box, HTML label, list view, scroll bar, all these and all the classes that is extending these classes can be applied with the custom shapes. So let's see how we can implement custom shapes in JavaFX. So I have a simple project. So this is just a simple JavaFX project. I haven't done anything here. I just created this one. Uh, for the material design effect, I'm using the JPhoenix library here. First, let me close the currently existing scene builder instance and open this FX in the file. So as you can see, I have this angle pane and empty pane. I'm going to add a button. So I'm going to use the FX button for the ripple effect. ripple effect. I'm just putting it there. I just want to increase the size by a little bit. So let me just add a CSS file so I can apply states, styles to that. So I'm going to name it as mycss.css. So I got my CSS file and to get the background color like this a dark background i am going to apply some fx base so fx base hash 42 4242 in case you don't know about fx base if i use this fx base to some color then all the other colors will be arranged for that one i mean i will show you what i mean by that i set my fx base to 424242 and i am going to add that style sheet and the background of this anchor pane now is automatically that color that is because when you apply some base color then it will carry on to every component so we are interested in this button so let me show you how to create that so the trick here is using fx shape in javafx so let me create a button so first button that is the css of my first button and here you can specify an option called fx shape and this fx shape allows us to specify svg path so let me show you what i mean by svg path so svg path examples i need google anyway so google.com <coughs> svg path examples so the first result is a w3 school result and here if you look at this this triangle is made from svg path which is described to th through this string i mean if you use this string m150 then you will you can create this shape so let us just use this sample string i will show you how to create custom ones so before uh, first let us see the basic one so m1500 l i i just gave this one so if i go here nothing will happen because i haven't given the background color let me just give some background color for that one so I'm going to use a material design color like this FX background and I have to give a color for my text so I'm going to give FX text field and I just want to give some common CSS for all the buttons because we are going to create four buttons and we have some common property for all these buttons right so let me just reuse the CSS from my example so this is FX font size so I will set the font size to 16 points I'm going to set the text color as white so it is not needed here it is redundant then i am going to give a simple shadow that is a drop shadow with the back color so let us go back to scene builder and here we have in that attached that i mean we have created this css class 
first button but we haven't attached that class to this button so let us do that from this style class section so i have a button which is a common css class i have the first button and when i apply the first button as you can see i got the triangle one so i'm getting this triangle because i have used this shape now the obvious question is how you make your own shapes so for that there is an awesome tool called this svg path builder i will leave the description i will leave this link in the description so you guys can create your own shapes here so this is the default view there you have this much of points and you can move the points any way you want just like this so let's say i want a shape like this if you want uh, let me uh, let me show you how to remove some points and do those kind of stuff if you click on this remove point it will be removed if you want to change the grid size to get more number of points you can reduce the number like uh, if i want 12 then you have more fine control like this and we need a closer shape obviously so i'm going to give it like this something like this this is so weird but for the tutorial purpose let's just do this one okay so i'm going to create one more button so second button let us name it as second button and i'm going to apply the fx shape option so fx shape and i'm going to give you my string and i need to give some another background color so let me just give another material color here okay now <clears throat> what i want is i need one more button so i'm just going to duplicate this button and putting it here and let me use the second class so if i use the second button as you can see that is exactly the shape we prepared right yeah so we prepared this shape and we got that one so that's about the custom one and as a bonus let me show you some uh, interesting fx shape about the heart and that those things that we have seen already so let me create two more buttons one and another one and let me create the css so i need two more css like uh, the button and in the third button section i'm going to give this as <clears throat> the css so this is for the heart i mean the heart with an outer surface for this heart let's see how it is looking so i am going to select this button use my third css so third button so as you can see we got our nice heart here then let let me show you one more thing that is the symbol heart okay so this is symbol heart that is my existing css so i need fourth heart so fourth button and here fx text fill is not needed so i'm just giving some good material design color and this is another shape and if i give this shape to this button so we have the fourth one fourth button and that's it now let me show you just one more thing suppose you want to apply this shape this fourth shape heart shape to some other component let's say a text field and so for that let us just add one text field here so we have our nice text field here then i can apply the css to fourth one so fourth button so as you can see now this is a text field with this custom symbol symbol isn't that awesome guys so if i click on here you can see i can type on this component and it is a text field so so that's it guys that's the end of this video i hope you learned a new thing here so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more good videos